Good day everyone and welcome back to the X Explorer for another video. In the, today's video, uh, as you already know, I'm a big fan of the TID Radio products and uh, I have uh, three of the products that I like to present to you um, that uh, I think they might be very helpful to you and uh, one of them I think I was talking about uh, in a couple of videos ago when I was doing satellite QSOs and I was saying that I would really really like one and that's the external um, speaker microphone uh, this is the upgraded version the TDHM060 and uh, TID Radio was kind enough to send me one so I'd like to say a big thank you for this one um, yeah this one will make my uh, life a lot easier doing satellite QSOs I really really wanted this one but I'll leave this one towards the end of the video we'll, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it um, and also uh, what I have over here uh, if you remember when I received my TDH3 uh, radio it came with uh, the regular uh, rubber duck antenna VHF UHF and it also came with um, one of the TD771 uh, uh, antennas which is this very long antenna but the version that I had back then was for um, the airband so it's 120 uh, 300 megahertz version uh, and right now they also sent me the 771 uh, the ham version which is basically 140 for uh, 430 megahertz uh, this one works really well I've been testing this one these uh, past days and one that I didn't get to test yet is this little thing over here which I can't even call antenna but it is it's only about I think by eye somewhere around five centimeters long uh, this one is also VHF UHF and I'm really curious about this one this is the TD 805s um, again also VHF UHF um, so yeah I'm very curious about this one because by the size of it I would say that it won't be able to do much but uh, you never know we might have surprises um, you know what I'm going to do uh, first of all we'll do a quick nano VNA test here on the on the table and after that I'm going to go outside uh, and test this one because there's a repeater that is pretty hard for me to activate uh, from from my location over here uh, because it's quite far I'll, I'll put Google Maps on the screen so you will see um, uh, the distance between me and the repeater or the approximate distance basically um, but it's quite far and it's quite uh, hard to activate that one so we'll go in the backyard and we'll try to see if we can activate it with this uh, tiny antenna and if that works basically the, the repeater is in Turgus Equiesk I'm somewhere close to Brasov uh, for those that know the, the cities so <laughs> um, yeah if this one can activate that repeater TID radio you're a star because uh, this tiny little thing it's it's I, I don't know I can't even call it antenna I mean let me put it on the TDH3 and show you something this is how it looks with uh, this tiny antenna and to be honest this is the size of the cell phone that I used to have back in 1998 when I got my first job and I purchased my first um, I was about to say transceiver my first cell phone it was kind of the size of the TDH3 back then <laughs> so anyway let's get really quick on the table uh, we'll do a test or with the nano VNA I'm not going to concentrate much on the SWR because I might not get proper readings uh, just because I don't have the proper setup to to do this uh, this test uh, on SWR um, I'm missing a couple of connectors uh, to do that but um, the main idea for me is to see if the antennas resonate on 2 meters and 70 centimeters because I had some antennas in the past that were kind of cheeky uh, they were advertised for 2 meters and 70 centimeters but they were resonating in totally different frequencies except 2 meters and 70 centimeters so I'd like to see if these two uh, do resonate on the right frequency but of course knowing TID radio I believe they are um, and after that we'll come back uh, we'll do um, test on the microphone we'll talk a little bit more about the microphone as well so I'll be right back so over here we have the really small antenna that I was talking about the TD 805s uh, it comes in a set of two uh, <laughs> and I think it's a good idea because it's so tiny you might lose it at least you get a spare um, here you have some technical details on the antenna 
basically maximum power 10 watts it's good to know that um, and yeah uh, here it will tell about all the compatible mo uh, models of uh, for this antenna over here we have the TD771 um, antenna it's the long version uh, the one that we are going to test today is the 771 ham version for 144 and 430 megahertz I also have the aviation uh, uh, version, the 120, 300 megahertz, but I'm not going to talk about that one today. Uh, same like the other antenna, over here you have a couple of extra stuff and some Im information over here. Um, you can uh, read. Here we have the speaker microphone, uh, the HM060. Uh, the one that I have, it's the upgraded version. Uh, this one is really nice, it's very very useful. Um, over here you have as well some uh, description on the product. Uh, this is a description for the normal microphone, not the upgraded version and some other stuff. So yeah, take a closer look on the on the website, on the tidradio.com website and uh, find the products that you like. And uh, don't forget, use the discount code that you have on the screen. You'll get 10% off for any of the products that you purchase from tidradio.com. Now, making a little joke before we start talking about the measurements. Um, <laughs> in the last time when I um, when I measured with the Nano VNA, I was having some glares in the screen and I said I'm going to put my photography gear in use. So I'm using a polarizer filter uh, to remove the glares from the Nano VNA screen. I hope you can see it better right now. So um, I have connected the TD805S um, antenna. Uh, let me go uh, and change the frequency between 144 and 146. Oh, I did something here. Start 144 megahertz, stop 146 megahertz. Okay, so I have a clear dip somewhere around 145 megahertz almost somewhere around there so uh, yeah the little one does uh, resonate on the two meters band uh, now of course i'm not so sure about the swr because i don't have the proper fixture probably to to measure uh, this uh, rubber duck antennas um, but uh, considering that once you put it on the radio uh, your hand also acts as a counterpoint uh, while you're holding the radio uh, probably the SWR will get better. I need to find a way to, to measure these antennas properly. Um, right now, basically, I'm improvising, but I'm more interested if it does resonate on uh, on the 2 meters band. So it does. So right now I'm going to remove the little one and I'm going to uh, connect the TD771, uh, the bigger antenna. And let's see this one. Oh, oh, this one is even better. So this one seems to be very, very wide. Let's go to start 100 megahertz, stop 200 megahertz. So yeah, I have a clear dip over there. Oops, uh, yeah, it depends on how I'm moving the antenna. That's, that's what I'm saying that uh, if you're holding the radio in your hand, the, the antenna will definitely act differently. But right now we're somewhere around 144 megahertz. Let's go back again to 144 megahertz and we're going to go to stop 146 megahertz. And yeah, we can see a clear dip over here. So. Uh, yeah, this one also resonates well on the 2 meters band. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to recalibrate the Nano VNA and come back to do measurements for the um, 70 centimeters band. All right, so uh, right now I uh, connected again the TD805S uh, to the Nano VNA and I calibrated the Nano VNA between 400 and 500 megahertz. So I'm going to go to start for 30 megahertz and stop for 40 megahertz. And uh, the little one does resonate as well. Of course, as soon as I move my hand, uh, it will change. But 
again um, I'm not so much uh, interested in the SWR reading but if the antenna does resonate on this frequency and it does alright so right now I connected the TD771 antenna and uh, I seems like I have a nice big dip over here uh, on the 70 centimeters band I'm again between 400 and 500 megahertz so what I'm going to do I'm going to click start for 30 megahertz and the stop frequency to 440 and it's pretty beautiful I like it 45 ohms um, resistance the impedance sorry <laughs> uh, yeah it looks okay so uh, this one does uh, resonate very nice on the 70 centimeters band as well again I'm not going to um, care much about the, the SWR because I know the antenna will act differently once I put it on the um, on the transceiver and I hold it in my hand but the most important part for me is that it does uh, resonate on the specified frequency now I apologize it's a little dark outside but it's after sunset um, what I did um, I did a little test earlier with the TD771 the long antenna and I tried activating uh, a repeater that is quite far from here but what I'm trying to do is see if the little one the uh, TD805S also uh, can also activate that repeater because it's uh, all the way in Turgusekuyesk which is quite far from here so uh, let's do a quick test and see if we can activate it with the little one as well if this one works TID radio <laughs> you're the best nice beautiful 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 I can't believe with this antenna I can actually activate that uh, that repeater over there it's quite far so I'm impressed so uh, yeah I was I was honestly expecting that the little one would all only only work for like short distances you know very close by and uh, uh, it won't do much um, and I was thinking that uh, it's good for like a local chit chat but it turns out that it can do a lot more so <laughs> I'm impressed okay so now let's do a quick test on the microphone uh, this is the one that I'm the most excited about just because uh, I know this one will be a good help for me uh, doing satellite QSOs but uh, I might end up uh, getting one more just because uh, I can actually modify it I believe and use it with the true SDX as well and uh, probably already know that uh, the speaker of the true SDX is not so great so uh, it would sound a lot better uh, through this one and uh, I think it could be uh, really handy so I'll try to do that as well but right now I'm going to I uh, already connected this one uh, to the TDH8 so we're going to do a quick PTT test and uh, see if it works And it does. Uh, we'll do a sound check in a little bit, but I'm going to remove it from the TDH8 and I'm going to test it on the TDH3. Let me plug this one in really quick. Turn it on. Uh, let's do a quick PTT test on this one. I'm again on that repeater frequency, but I don't think it will. Uh, it will. Um, activate it right now no it doesn't of course from my uh, from my aluminum enclosure over here it would definitely not work but um, what I wanted to try I have an old bow thing over here um, as a, a present from my friend Andre uh, let me pick a different frequency over here so let's do a quick test on on this one as well a quick PTT test so this one works as well uh, can't remember what model is this one 
<coughs> it's an older Baofeng model. And uh, we have this uh, Quan Sheng radio, which I have it as a with my the help of my friend uh, Daniel, uh, because I promised my friends at uh, Tweed Radio that I will do a comparison video between. Welcome. Frequency mode. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, so yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Let's let's do a quick PTT test to see if it works. So it works with the Quan Sheng transceivers as well. So anyway, uh, going back on this one, I promised my friends at the Radio that I will do a comparison video because I'm really curious about how this one works. Um, now that I have a, a tiny SA, we'll probably do some. Uh, uh, harmonics uh, suppression check but uh, let me turn it off we'll do a sound check as well on the TDH3 so what I'll do really quick I will no let me do something different I'll connect it to the TDH8 so um, I connected the microphone back to the TDH8 I'll do another uh, PTT test over here. All right, it works. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave the microphone here on the table. I'm going to put the microphone really close to the to the speaker and you'll get to listen to the sound of it as well. And I'll go outside with the TDH3 and start transmitting and uh, we get to hear how it sounds as well. And then um, after that, probably it will switch a little bit. Um, I'll go outside with the TDH8 and the microphone, I'll leave the TDH3 inside, go outside, start transmitting into the um, this microphone and we get to hear how it sounds into the TDH3. Testing, 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 microphone check, test, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Testing, testing, check, check, one, two, three, Deep radio, mic check. And it's a little bit windy outside, so I hope it sounds good. All right, that's it for today. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you found the information valuable and helpful. And I hope you like these three accessories. Uh, they are very, very useful. Uh, I, kind of hard to pick one of my favorites right now, but of course I'm going to pick my microphone just because I like doing satellite QSOs. And this one will make my life uh, very, very easy. Um, what can I say? If you'd like to purchase any of them, I'll leave a link down in the video description. Don't forget, use the discount code that you have on the screen and you'll get 10% off on any of the products that you purchase from tidradio.com. Um, and I guess that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow or the day after tomorrow when we are going to continue with part two of my mini whip antenna. And uh, yeah. I'll see you soon. Until then, 73 from Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X-Ray Echo.